Yeah, it's my pleasure to introduce a long time colleague and old friend, Timo. So, Timo, would you introduce yourself? Absolutely. So, yeah, we have known each other, I don't know, 12 years, yeah. even more. Uh, and work very closely together mm -hmm. during my, my few years at uh, Huawei. Mm -hmm. So I was um, I was a CTO of System Software of uh, Huawei Central Software yeah. Institute yeah. Uh, based in Munich. And uh, uh, me and my my team we were building high availability platform for you know core network devices. Then we did a lot of uh, Linux kernel work mm -hmm. for radio base stations, mm -hmm. and even even mobile devices at some point of time, like battery yeah. saving algorithms and all that stuff. And that time uh, at Huawei, we, you know, together with you and other people, we realized that there is a need for a another Linux-based operating system which covers, which can cover everything from the edge and core network and cloud and IT enterprise. And, uh, so we decided to um, establish an internal project at that time. It was 2011 or 12, I'm not, not sure, something like that. Uh, and we called it Euler. Mm -hmm. And now, over all these years, it has transformed itself into Open Euler, which we are now talking about today. So that was that was that was fascinating thing. And I'm so happy to see that uh, you know Euler and now Open 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 Euler has taken off even kind of dramatically or fantastically in the industry. Of course, starting from China, and you know you, don't, you never know where it goes from here. And as you presented in the keynote uh, this morning, impressive numbers in terms of uh, users and usages and contributors and, uh, and functionality. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is super fascinating. Absolutely. Yeah. We're both very happy about the effort we put into oil in the past uh, few years. Actually, be, it will be visible to the industry. Yeah. And, already make some success and what's your vision now what you're suggesting for the future of oil yeah especially in Europe first of all it's a it's a absolutely fundamentally important thing that is an open source project yeah which makes it uh, of course easy or easier to develop and easier to adapt mm -hmm. and what I think uh, what should happen somehow is is uh, to try to attract, first of all, developers outside from China, in, 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 in Europe, mm -hmm. and maybe other other countries in APAC, mm -hmm. uh, and that would be that would be a really important step to you know make this expand even more. Mm -hmm. And of course, then then talk to commercial companies and ask or, or propose collaboration with commercial companies who either built operating mm -hmm. systems themselves or are users of operating systems. Yes. So that's, and this this kind of event is of course uh, very important to, to show people that mm -hmm. what's happening mm -hmm. and how successful open order is. Mm -hmm. so there are many avenues to, to expand this and, uh, and as you, you were speaking this morning, Open Euler can be used in so many different places, yeah. starting from embedded systems and you know, edge and maybe open RAN, mm -hmm. you know, baseband uh, environment and telecom core networks and, and it's open source. anything. Thank you for thank you for your suggestion and and thanks for the interview. Yeah. Thank you.